In this tutorial, we will show the use of the time trace script. So we first open the sample workspace and select a file which shows uh, fluctuations uh, of a single molecule. So we start the intensity time trace and we see here in the parameter area we can choose the time bin width. So this is in this case 10 milliseconds per time bin. We have two spectral channels. So when we stay calculate we get two different time traces for each channel. So here we can see basically the intensity jumps. This comes from the single molecule and we see here the photon counting histogram. So to see the frequency of these different transitions. Here we can stream through the data. This upper panel contains the whole time trace and I can also zoom in here. So in the lower windows the green enhanced part of the upper window is displayed. So it is also possible to export as a ASCII file the, for example, the photon counting histogram. For example, to process this uh, with, an, with another software and to fit the data. So we can save the result and here we get then the f result file that contains the results here. It is also useful to use the time intensity time script for an image file like this GUV file. If we start here the time trace, uh, trace script for the GUV and calculate the, the time trace, we can we can see that we get um, we get now a very spiked kind of time trace, which is due to the scanning process of the laser over the sample. Uh, a big advantage of the time trace script is also that you can display the, the marker signals here. So if something is wrong in your scanning, you can check whether all the marker signals are there. Ch marker four is not used. Marker three is the frame marker, and marker one and two are the line start and line stop marker. So between each blue line we have a new frame and the line markers are so close together that you can't really see them. That's why I have to zoom in here. They start become visible and now they are nicely separated. So here you see the first frame marker and, um, and if I zoom in, so first frame marker, first line start marker then we have the scanning of this line, then we have the line stop marker, then a fast backfly because it's a monodimensional scanning and then comes the next line marker. Okay, so we actually close this and have finished our analysis.